feel like you just put a lot of thought into the things you do. You don't just want to take something that's going to suck, but I also know actors have to act. So how is yeah, that? You, you, you never know if something's going to suck. You kind of just don't know, okay. like, right? Like and that's that's the, that's the hard part. Like like you, if you like the script, you yeah. like the people involved, and you, and you have time, you do it. Do you watch your own work? Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Is it kind of like are you like oh I should have done that? Are you just do you pick yourself apart? I would say that I used to feel that way a lot more. Yeah. But now I kind of just feel like I know what I did. I know what I did, and uh, you know, especially Tyler Perry, I, I trust him. Yeah. I, I, I trust him to make to, to choose what's going to work the best in his own mind. And what he what he wants is fucking great. I trust Simon McCoy, who directed uh, a Mortal Kombat, and I feel like he's got. You, if you trust someone's decision making. You're fine. Now, Fall from Grace, Netflix, Tyler Perry's movie. Mm -hmm. Now, how involved is he? Like, is he... Every you know, step. Yeah. Every step. So are you... Do you have any interest in, in directing or anything like yeah. that? Do you, are, you, are you watching, you know, what he's doing? Are yeah. you trying to... Are you, okay. Are I'm, you picking his brain, too? I'm picking his brain. Um, I've never met somebody who is... who knows exactly what they want, so effective at communicating that, but then it's so open to your interpretation in the moment of what he said. It's brilliant. Like, we, you don't get more than one or two takes, which is great because you know you better try every day. Yeah, turn you on. better turn that shit on. Mm -hmm. And you better try everything you wanted to try. You better milk it. And you better, you, and, and like, it, it also makes you super honest where like you, you can't you can't push too hard you can't you can't hold anything back like it's like there's this super visceral sort of state that you have to be in to work with Tyler and it, it makes you a better actor how does this this role come about so th this role with, with him in, 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 in this film Fall From Grace what, how does it unravel here so Tyler and I met five years ago I just realized that yesterday because his, son, his uh, son's five and like he was having his son around the same time we met and um, I'm driving down the street on Ventura, and I'm going to a couple different appointments, and I get a phone call from a block number, and I'm like, I'm not answering that. Yeah. Whatever. I get another call again, I go, I'm not answering that. What the fuck's happening? <laughs> and no message or anything, right? No, no. Oh, man. Then I, and like five minutes later, calls again, I go, hello? He's like, McCall Brooks? I go, yeah. I go, this is Tyler Perry. I go, sure it is. Click. No shit. Yeah, I was like, whatever. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> he calls, so never calls again. I go, stop playing on my phone. Who is this? Stop playing. This is Tyler Perry. I'm like, it, when I started to recognize his voice, like, oh shit, this is Tyler Perry. I go, wait, how did you get my number? He goes, he goes, this is this is verbatim. He goes, if I can give Barack Obama's number, I can give you a number. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's a that's a good point. I go. Fair point. Yeah. Pull over. How you doing, brother? <laughs> so um, we we had a couple meetings. We, we we ended up talking about a lot of different things, life and politics, and um, you know, similar backgrounds in some ways. And he's uh, just a lovely human being. And then we started talking about work, and I, I, we tried to figure something out. I couldn't do the first thing he wanted me to do, and then so Supergirl. And then uh, he offered me a role in. Uh, He's, he, he asked me, he's like, can you do me a favor? I said, sure. He's like, can you do, come to this small role for me um, with Tiffany Haddish and, and, uh, and Tika Sumter and, and it's called Nobody's Fool. I said, sure. You know, like, that's not a favor. I love this. Like, no one lets me do, like, ridiculous comedy. So I went and did that and we had, I did that for like four days, three days, and we had a blast and he was just like, you, this is, this is a lot of fun. And so um, when I was shooting Supergirl the next season, he sent me a script and said, "Hey, I want you. To, I want you to read the script. I have. I want you to play this. I want you to look at this character." So I, I read it to me. I stopped what I was doing. I read it immediately. And I got back to him with like in like two hours. I said, "Hey, I love it." He's like, "You already read it?" I go, "Tyler Perry sends you a script. You fucking read it. Yeah. <laughs> right? You fucking read it. Yeah. Like, you stop what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You read it. Right?" And I read it and I thought it was wonderful. And it seemed like such a departure for him. He was, it, right. it read more like a David Fincher, M. Night Shyamalan script. Like, I, I was getting lost, like, but in a good way. Like, you know, and I, 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 you, I was following it, but I was just like, wait, wait, hold on. Flipping back, like, wait, 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 hold on. And I was like, this is great. And 
I've, I've seen, I really wanted to do mysteries and thrillers. And I grew up on my, my mom was like a huge Agatha Christie fan, you know, like that kind of thing. And Murder, She Wrote, yeah. like that was like my mom's thing. And like, so I would like sit next to my mom and watch those kind of things. And like, it, it just was like, Tyler's the kind of guy, he just, he makes a phone call and changes lives. Yeah. That's what he does.